Juan Morel. It's kind of funny because it seems literally like just yesterday to me that Juan just got his pro card. All of a sudden, this man's got 10th place in the Mr. Olympia contest. Oh my gosh, this, this guy has literally grown so fast. Look at Juan, look at this man's physique. I think he definitely deserved 10th place. He is on point, man. He's on point, he's got the size, he's got a super tight waist, he's got a very, very crisp physique, hard looking, detailed, great adductors, but you can see he definitely needs a lot more muscle on those quads. Overall, that conditioning is sick. It is, again, on point. Let's look at some abs. Let's check out this ab shot. I will say right now, as the reviewer and recapper of the 2014 Mr. Olympia by I'll Pump You Up, this man has one of the best ab shots in the entire show. To come in this big with such a super tight, dry waist like this is incredible. Look, take your eyeballs and look at those obliques. They're just sick, nasty, shredded, conditioned obliques. That just makes his waist look that much more tighter. All right, let's turn this man around. Let's check this guy's back out. You can see Juan Morel has a very thick center back. That means like his traps, his rhomboids. Uh, but uh, don't get me wrong, they're thick, thick, thick up top. But as you go down his back, it quickly fades. His lower lats uh, and lower back in general just needs a lot more mass to crack the top 10. Placing higher to ninth place, eighth place, whatever. Just needs to get thicker lower lats. Okay, check this out. Again, inner thighs are huge. He's done his work on that. His calves, are, they're kind of subpar. Um, decent shot for Juan. What do I think about Juan? I think he's got good aesthetics. I think he's got an overall good physique. Man, this man worked hard and did his homework for his conditioning. If he can get size, and he's still young, if he can get more size, this guy, is, you're gonna see every year, is just gonna place higher and higher and higher. I could see maybe in like three years, this guy cracking the top five, perhaps. Especially with the pace this man is on is how fast he's grown, how high he's gone up in the rankings in the IFBB men's professional bodybuilding. All right, guys, we're getting there. Ninth place, Steve Kuklo. Steve Kuklo is one of the nicest IFBB pros that I have ever met. That's not just me. A lot of guys say that. Look how conditioned this man is to be this huge and this full and not sacrifice that conditioning is beyond applaudable. Well, well deserving of ninth place. Maybe he should have even placed higher. He's huge, he's symmetrical, he's got balance, he's got aesthetics, and that conditioning is sick. Vascular as heck. Again, came in full without sacrificing uh, dryness and a tight waist, which you do not see in the IFBB a lot. Usually when someone gets bigger, what happens? Their stomach follows. Check out this next shot. This is a sick shot for Steve Kuklo. Dry, detailed, crisp waist. Legs are separated. Calves look like diamonds. Just an overall very impressive uh, performance and turnout for Steve Kuklo. I mean, he he's he's really going to get far and and closer and closer to that Mr. Olympia title as the years go on. Look at this this third shot here. Now, his his lats don't look very flared out at this point. Uh, his bicep peak is getting better. I wouldn't say this dude is a good example of great bicep peak, but let's let's keep looking. Abs are on point. Literally, for me as as a judge, I see no flaws with this man's with this man's abs. They're literally on point, and for his size, again, that is insanely good. And I see why he got ninth place, and I definitely see why he beat your boy Juan Morel. Now we're we're gonna turn him around. Check this out, man. We're gonna we're gonna take a look at this guy's back. Here's what I would say would be Steve's worst shot. Worst shot. Um, he's got shredded glutes. Awesome. Judges, that's one of the first things they're looking for when you turn around. Back poses, they're looking at looking for shredded glutes. But that rear lat spread needs a major, major overhaul. Uh, the traps almost kind of blend in with his lats. You're not seeing definite uh, muscle entities that are that are distinct. Distinctly different.
different or separated from each other. Um, again, they just kind of blend in. He's got he's got a problem here. He's got very very high lats. Those high lats. It's very hard for these guys to pull those lower lats down, and it takes away from a really good overall thickness or a thick look. Uh, he needs width. He needs thickness. Just needs major separation and again some distinction um, from the different muscle groups on his back. The last shot for Steve, my boy. This shot almost makes up for that rear lat spread. You can tell how lean he is. You can tell how dry he is. He, this man's got veins on his hamstrings. Deep, deep cuts in his glutes. I'm excited. I want to see what Steve's going to bring to the table in the following years. I Again, I think he as well is going to be another major threat if he can continue to have longevity in this sport.